Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my weekly TJ Maxx and Marshalls shop with me video. We go mostly to TJ Maxx and see what is new in the makeup section. They always have new stuff every week, which is kind of crazy, but I go like every other day to check out what is new and I love to share it with you guys. And we didn't find like too, too much this week. This week's video is a little bit shorter, but we did find some really cool kind of key pieces, some really cool sets from like Becca and Laura Mercier, some new Laura Geller stuff. So there was there's quite a bit of exciting things if you are new please subscribe to my channel but let's go ahead and get started with the video so it looks like they have tons of Becca stuff um, stuff we've already seen but they did restock a lot so they have tons of the ultimate coverage foundation a bunch of these skin perfectors and then a bunch down here of the skin love foundation um, but it seems like mostly restocked today but I did find this which is kind of cool from makeup revolution it's the bronze and glow chocolate bar it's a bronzer and highlighter, which looks like this, and it's only $4.99. This is a really cute little palette. I love the packaging and the like chocolate drip kind of design on the inside. I feel like the colors are really nice in this, so I don't know if I need it at this time. I might look up reviews because it looks like it would be a nice product, um, kind of a little two-in-one, but that's pretty cool. I also noticed this from Peter Thomas Roth. I haven't seen this before. It's called the Skin to Die For Mineral Matte CC Cream. I only see one of them in the shade medium here, and this is for $14.99. I actually see that these are new as well. They have quite a few of them in here from Becca, the Skin Love line. We've seen a few things from their line popping up, but this is the Glow Glaze Stick, and uh, it's only $3.99. At first I thought it was a mini product, but I think this is the full size. It is .17 ounces, and I think it's just one shade. Now that I'm thinking, I think we might have seen something like this a while back. It's possible. Let me see what this looks like. So it is a cream highlighter. We might have seen this before. I remember there was one product that came out from this line like before everything else. But they have a ton of them today, so I did want to show you guys that. They also have a couple of these. I think it's a restock from Becca. The Glow on the Go sets, originally $20. And here they are $9.99. And you get a mini shimmering skin perfector in Moonstone as well as the mini liquid highlight in here. I did find yet another Sephora brush here. We found the stippling brush a couple weeks ago, but this one is similar, but it's like huge. And this one's called the domed stippling. So very similar, but this one is just like gigantic. And it is $7.99 for that. The stores don't have a whole lot today. I'll probably pick up later during the week, but I did see this at one of my stores. Um, from Kopari, this is the lip scrubby from their coconut oil line. I haven't seen much Kopari here, so this is really cool. This is going for only $2.99. All right, guys, after not really finding a whole lot today, this is definitely the amazing find of the day. I'm so excited. I've been looking for this. And look at how pretty this is. This is from Becca. It just came out for the holidays a few months ago. And it has this beautiful, like, kind of sequence in the top. And it's actually called the Pop Goes the Glow Face Palette here cannot believe this is here and it's actually at a decent price $16.99 not bad for a face palette sometimes they price them like at 20 bucks and this is the inside so it looks like mostly highlighters and then we have a couple of blushes I'll have to read you guys the names I'm pretty sure champagne pop is the one on the left so I found another really cool Becca set this one's new called the Becca put a glow on it and it comes with three different mini products in here this is going for $12.99 and it looks like you get the skin love brain and blur primer first light priming filter in a mini shimmering skin perfector in moonstone so that's actually a really cute kit if you haven't tried any of those and it comes with the skin love line and the regular products which is pretty cool they actually have quite a few of those I see four of them here all in this case I notice we also have some new buxom glosses I've shown a few in the past but I don't exactly remember which shades so I have three shades here in Rebecca Ava and Melanie and it looks like they're all the full-on lip polish going for $5.99 each so this is Rebecca it's kind of a champagne kind of shade my camera does not want to focus on these at all and this one is Ava 
And then lastly, this is Melanie, which is really similar to the Rebecca one, just a little bit deeper. I also see these from Laura Geller. I've been noticing they've been bringing a couple new items in lately. This is the Baked Marble Eyeshadow Duo in the shade Pink Icing and Devil's Food. This is what it looks like. My camera is I'm having focus problems today, so I do apologize if it gets a little bit blurry in and out. Um, but super pretty eyeshadow. It's for $3.99. They also have this really nice Laura Mercier set here, which actually has a good variety of stuff in the line. It looks like it comes with their translucent powder, a mini radiance primer, and then two of the caviar eye sticks in a couple different shades. So I wanted to show you guys this set. This is going for $19.99. I think they're all deluxe sizes. Also comes with this little puff as well. So cute little set there. They also have this set, which is really cool. I feel like this was a holiday set from them, but it comes with four of their caviar sticks. So um, I think these are mini sizes, but honestly, these will last you so long anyway. This is for $16.99. I'm trying to read the shades. It has Magnetic Pink, Intense Moonlight, Metallic Taupe, and also Intense Amethyst in here. So I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, my store has even more Laura Geller. It seems like they're bringing in restocks and also new stuff, so I wanted to go over a lot of that. I see a couple blushes. I think I've seen maybe one of these in the past. It's been a while, but it's their soft matte big blush in plush peony. This is for $5.99. They also have romantic rose here, so two shades. I actually really like these because they don't have as much shimmer as some of their other baked ones. This is the peony shade. Really pretty. And then this one is in Romantic Rose. I don't know what that thing is in the middle. I feel like these just were put out, so I don't know if someone touched it. Sometimes they just look like that in general. But yeah, those look really nice from Laura Geller. I also found more of those eyeshadow duos at this store. They have quite a few different colors. Um, I guess these, are these the same? This one's different. So the other one we found was the Baked Marble, but these are the Baked Eyeshadow Duos. We have Opal Violet for $3.99. It has the picture on the back here. These are pretty true to the picture. Um, this one is Bronze Emerald. This one's really pretty. I kind of like those together. And then they also have Smoky Quartz and Golden Smoke. That one's really pretty too. I'll show you guys the better one. No, you can't really see that. This one is Sable and Honey just show you guys the inside of one of them because I don't want to go too crazy but this is so pretty I really like these and this is about the size they are they're pretty small but you don't really need like too much eyeshadow honestly this is the perfect size I also have this baked color intense shadow duo in frosting slash blueberry which I feel like these are the same thing but this must be the updated packaging and then I guess those are the same and these are $3.99 if I didn't mention already these guys are $3.99 as well, so really good prices. They're also restocking stuff. We went over these in the past, though I won't go too in-depth. The High Def Glow Illuminator, Gilded Honey Illuminating Stick, the Diamond Dust Illuminating Drops. Um, these are all usually under $5 for Laura Geller. Looks like they're also going to be restocking their foundations. They only have one shade in right now for the Filter First Foundation in Fawn which is $5.99. Then they do have the Liquid Gelato Pillow Top Illuminator. This is in Gilded Honey for $3.99. And then in the back, this is the Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation in Light for $4.99. They also have these from Laura Geller, the Luster Eyes 24 Hour Eyeliner. I just see one shade, which is Luster slash Black. This one is $2.99, so it looks like it's one of those dip-in liquid liners. They also have this, which I don't think we've seen before from Laura Geller. It's their Fortifying Lashes Eyelash Primer. It is a black eyelash primer, and it is going for $3.99. They have quite a few new lip products as well. There's a lot here to go over. Um, we have the Color Enriched Lipstick. We have a few shades. I found Rouge Audrey and Pink Mink. These are $2.99 each, which is such a good price, you guys. And they're actually inscribed with Love Laura on the lipstick, which is so cute. I've never seen this particular lipstick here before. We also have this color drenched lip gloss from them in the shade Melon Infusion. This one is going for $2.99. They also have a bunch of these, the Color Luster Lip Glosses. We have Gilded Honey, so this must be the same shade as their uh, highlighter. This is Gilded Honey, so pretty, and $2.99, like this is a crazy price, I cannot believe that. You can't beat $3 for a lip product, honestly. So I have the Color Luster in the shade of City Lights. This one's kind of like a pearl, 
shade. So this beautiful like melony pink shade called Pink Cake. There's so many. We also have this lip product from them called Lasting Love Lip Stain. I haven't seen these before. In the shade Pinot Noir, I think that's how you say that, for $2.99. This one looks like, it's actually kind of looks like a lip crayon by the packaging. I like that they kind of show the thing on the back. Let's see what else. There's so many of these glosses, honestly. I don't want to open all of them because I would we'd be here for like a million years. So we have Guava Delight. This is a color brilliance lipstick in the shade Cute. Make out Merlot, okay. <laughs> Pink Pucker. And in the back is Love Blush. We have Ravishing Rose. And then Beige Bite. I think that's all of them. So there's quite a few of those. I also have these over here, the 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Lipstick. <laughs> these have the shades on them too, which is nice. This one is in Ruby Romance. I think that's all the Laura Geller lipsticks. That was kind of a lot. <laughs> they also have these up here, I noticed. The Color Luster Lip Gloss in the shade City Light. So that's the same as the other one, just different packaging. So yeah, pretty much all of those lipsticks were $2.99. Such a good deal. You guys look at these. Okay, so I just walked in. I was like, what the heck? These look exactly like the Huda Beauty Neon Palettes. They have even the same colors as them. So I guess the W7 brain makes dupes for it, called Vivid. So there's three of them here. They have the pink, the orange, and then the green. And the shades are pretty much identical to the Huda palettes. They're only $2.99, so I don't know about this brand, though, if the quality is going to be good. I'm kind of curious. I might look up some reviews and see, because it'd be nice to like kind of compare them to the Huda. I actually do own the Huda ones, so... Yeah, I just thought this was really interesting and it really caught my eye when I walked in. They have only one of each. These are sealed, so I won't be opening them. But yeah, this is the Vivid Punchy Pink. Literally exactly like the Huda. I cannot believe this. They also have tons more of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors in Prismatic Amethyst. Once again, $7.99 for that. Let's see if they have other shades. They're all the same shade and they have like six of them there. I've also never seen this before from Pretty Vulgar. It's called their Cool AF Lava Water Foundation. I saw that Sephora had a recent sale. It started yesterday and they had a ton of the Pretty Vulgar stuff we found here. They just have one shade in this, 3.6. And it's, it's pretty big. This is going for $12.99 here. It's actually supposed to be a full coverage matte liquid cool lava water foundation, lightweight, buildable, and long wearing. It sounds really nice, although I don't know if the shade would work. I might look it up and see because it sounds like something I would wear. I love full coverage, so I might research this and maybe pick it up. We'll see. So they have even more Laura Mercier sets. They've had a lot this week so far. This is the Lip Artist Red Lip Duet, and I know these are a little bit hard to see because um, you can't really see exactly what's in here. It looks like a lip liner and a lipstick in red. And this is going for $12.99, so two full sizes for $12.99 is not too bad. And then they have this, which is the Lip Artist Nude Lip Duet. So yeah, I guess I should read the side. It does say a little bit about it. You get the lip liner in rosewood. And the other side says the Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick in new prefer i believe the shade is so a nude uh looks really pretty from what i can see um also let's see if it's 12.99 as well and then they have this little mini set too this is the caviar intense eye set this is a little mini set so you get the mini mascara in the caviar volume and also a caviar stick um let's see the color is rose gold in that one so a very popular shade from them and this one is 10.99 Okay guys, I found a few things here at this store. I just added some stuff to my basket. But how cool is this? We found this from Becca. This is their Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder in Golden Bronze. This is the only one they've had. But I know some people either love this stuff or hate it. It kind of almost feels like water on the skin, which is so weird for a powder. I remember I got this in BoxyCharm, but I haven't really used it a ton. So I'm curious with this bronze shade, if it would be good for bronzer. I'm um, Probably not. I don't know. But yeah, it's so cool that we're seeing this here and it is going for $9.99 here at TJ Maxx. Really cool. I'm curious to see what other shades will pop up or if they all will. They have like five of them in the same shade, but you guys will have to let me know if you've tried it, what you think. I've heard very hit or miss like reviews. Some people say it's good for dry skin. Some people say it's drying even though it's a hydro powder, so I don't know. 
Um, and then I found another Sephora brush I thought I would show you guys. It's so funny because I just saw the Sephora brushes go on clearance um, on Sephora yesterday, so I have a feeling we'll be seeing even more. Like, pretty much that whole Sephora clearance section will probably end up here. <laughs> and um, this is the Pro Airbrush Perfector, only $7.99. It kind of looks like a little paintbrush. It's really cute. And then I wanted to show you guys, I did find another Buxom Gloss. This one's in the shade Hannah. We've been seeing these here and there all week. They've been adding new shades. So this is Hannah. It is kind of a more metallic, I'd call it a berry. And then I did want to show you guys, I found a couple Laura Geller palettes. One of them we've seen before, but I feel like I'm not sure about this one. So this one is the Life Close on Illuminator palette. They are restocking it. This is a really good one. Originally $32, as you can see. And at TJ Maxx, it's only $4.99, which is crazy. This is um, three highlighters in here. I do own this. So maybe I'll have to do a look with that soon. And then this one I feel like is new. It, I, we could have seen it before. I have no idea. But this is the Glam on the Go palette with blush, highlight, and bronzer for $4.99 as well. Guys, look how cute this is. It comes in this mint packaging. They're little baby sizes. It's so adorable, honestly. They're really small, though, but... It's really cute. I like this a lot, but it's gonna be so hard to get your brush in there. You would have to have like the smallest brush ever, but it looks like a nice little palette and you get pretty much everything you need for blush, bronze, or highlighter. For all my new people, I'll show you guys this Life Close On palette. This one is a little more doable because oh, it's small, nice. but they're still doable since highlight brushes are usually pretty small. You can definitely get your brush in there, but I really like this one. You get Diamond Dust, French Fizz, and Opal Crush. Speaking of Laura Geller, there are so many restocks. Um, we went over like all those new lip products, some really good things that are back again, and this is also back, the Spackle Mist with coconut water. I really like this mist, and it's only $4.99, which is such a good deal, but I definitely recommend this one. You can find this little elf set hiding underneath all these. This is the Desk to Dinner four-piece eye set. Not the best deal. It's originally $5, but here it's $3.99. Um, you do get a few of these little duos here, which is kind of nice, and a brush. And here is even another Laura Mercier item. This is actually a brush. It's their cheek color brush, and they put it in this plastic container. Um, it is $12.99. I wish I could look at it. I think they're supposed to put anything ten dollars and over in these but they usually don't but it's like oh because i always want to take good photos and i never can but it's okay i did find some good things for the thumbnail this week so i just spotted these sets at marshall's actually they're kind of hard to spot because they don't really look like anastasia until you like look really closely because <laughs> it kind of all blends together so these are all shades of like corally kind of reds which would be so fun for spring and summer and it's a liquid lipstick set four full sizes the packaging is really cute with the gold kind of lips on it and this is only $14.99 which is a really good deal so this is called coral crush long wearing high pigment matte liquid lip set you get the shade neon coral spicy pastel coral in red coral <laughs> so tons of different shades if you guys like those type of sh colors but yeah I'm guessing nobody knows it's Anastasia because no one has bought these yet and they have like five of them but it is a really good deal if you guys are wanting to get uh, some more liquid lipsticks in this kind of a color all right so for what I bought this week I really didn't buy a whole lot but you guys know I was really excited to find this Becca um, Pop Goes the Glow Face Palette. I saw that this was retailing actually for quite a bit. I think it's $40 and we got it for $16.99 which I feel like is a really good deal. It's over half off and I remember I was very curious about buying this during the holiday kind of launch for it. So I'm really excited about this find. I think it's so nice. Like literally it just came out and we already have it. So I'm excited to have Champagne Pop because I actually don't have it right now. Um, the one that I had in the full size had broke. So now we have Champagne Pop. And then I think the other shades are limited edition. I'll go ahead and swatch all of them for you. I will say these do feel a little bit chunky. Not the typical Becca quality that I'm used to. So I don't know. I guess that could be why it didn't sell very well. But we do have some nice shades in here. I will say uh, I'll probably use most of these for blush and definitely champagne pop for the highlighter. But it does have kind of some like deeper tone highlights in there too. 
so I don't know we'll have to test that out on the face I also picked up a little makeup organizer so I'm thinking of what I want to do with this I've been looking for something to store my ColourPop palettes in so I thought this might be a good idea but then I'm thinking it might be too big we'll see but this is for $3.99 I just picked it up in the makeup organization area if it doesn't work for my ColourPop palettes I'll just use it um, inside one of my drawers to organize and then I did end up getting this because it actually has some pretty good reviews I know I've seen it in the past but it was only four dollars this is the becca glow glaze stick and i decided i wanted to go ahead and try it normally i wouldn't buy this but like i said um when i was looking at the becca skin love line i came upon this and it actually had some good reviews so let's see this one it's not like super super shimmery if that makes sense it almost just looks wet so that is what it looks like here it just gives you that wet effect so I'm kind of excited to see how that looks. Hopefully it doesn't look like oily. But I thought I would go ahead and try it. And then I did end up picking up two of those W7 Vivid palettes. Because I really want to compare them to my Huda Beauty ones and see how they are. They were only three bucks. So it can't, it can't be that bad, I don't think. So this one is the Punchy Pink. The shimmers, they are really soft. But I don't think they're going to be as pigmented as the Huda. The mattes do feel very chalky, I will say. So, I'm, it's not looking too good with this, but maybe it will get the same effect on the eyes. So, I'll have to test that out and kind of compare them to each other. And then I also got the Outrageous Orange. Here's a few swatches from the Outrageous Orange. So, I'm really excited. Maybe I'll put up a video either next week or the week after um, comparing these with my other ones and see how they did. But that's pretty much everything I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls this week. I actually really didn't find much at Marshalls. Only those Anastasia sets. They're always so behind for me at least. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Don't forget to let me know if you guys found anything amazing this week at your stores. And I cannot wait to see what next week brings. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.